229 years prior. Hey. Hey. They did not speak much these days. No reason to. How's your father? Vant asked. Not great. Will he fight again? I don't think so, said Terry. I don't think he can. After Terry and Vant had risen to primes, Agmar's mental and physical health had degraded significantly, and his mistrust of Vant had only increased. I was hoping to be in battle with him at least once, but I guess you can't have everything. Guess not. Terry paced the cave. He surveyed Vant's side project. Still working on those things? I think they're almost done. Show me. Vant used a pulley to lift a hollowed out piece of metal from a barrel of water where it was cooling. The build was shaped like an inverted fist. It's backwards. That's the mold. I've been experimenting with metals that can be melted down and poured to harden into shape. Let's me be more exact. There are holes in the knuckles. Right. Vant pointed toward a rack on the armory wall. Dozens of rope-like strands draped from the ceiling to the floor. They coil up inside the glove. They'll be too heavy. How are you supposed to do anything useful with them? Shyla's working on that. She's figured out something interesting using corpo cells for power. So are you to... No. Why not? Vant held his fist up to the gauntlet mold, measuring the fit. Got my hands full at the moment. Terry smirked about Shyla, then said about Vant's project. I'm not so sure about those things. I think I'll stick with guns. Pulling a trigger is easy. When it's easy to take a life, it's easy to take the wrong life. Then there was a voice from the entrance to the cave. It was weak and dripping with spite. Too good for guns? Too good for all of us. Father, what are you doing out of bed? Agmar was a shadow of his former self. His boulder-like muscles were deflated. His once broad shoulders were sunken. You will no longer taunt me, child of Yule. You will no longer poison my army against me. You will never be allowed to claim revenge for the death of your parents. With a metallic sputter, Agmar's scimitar slid from its scabbard. He pointed it with sickly arms. Fight me. Vant walked past Terry, moved face to face with Agmar, then dropped to his knees. He pulled down his shirt and presented his neck. Here is my neck to cut. I have taken an oath. I will never turn on you. I will never betray you. I will always be loyal. Coward. Snake. Fight me. Vant remained still, on his knees. Shirt pulled, neck exposed. Fight me! Here is my neck. Vant did not move. Fight me! No movement. Fight me! Agmar raised his sword behind his head, preparing to strike. He collapsed. Father! 